Right, probably number five or something like that video, another short one. Two years ago, I was actually, I've done that side of the bank, all the way along to that edge there. All the way along I've gone, all the way into Bridgewater, so I've done that side of the bank. It's this side of the bank, I think, has been opened only recently, and I'm not quite sure what you do. This is Dumball, Dumball Wharf. Very important dock, port, whatever you want to call it, in, in history. Um, it's got, I think it's a deep dock, and um, you imagine the tall ships that used to come up the River Parrot, the big ships, delivering cargo. Um, this river has still got potential, if it was dredged properly, to do a lot more if, 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 it, if needed to be used as a transport system. There we go, there we've got the warehouses over there, the Morrison's warehouses, then you've got other gr a great big complex there that is gated, that does all sorts of like national health um, instruments and stuff, St Mary's Church over there, and I actually have been over there, this is where I had to negotiate two or three sets of cows on my way through different sections, and it wasn't until I was up near Cummage, very close to Cummage, that I, I had an encounter. But I'm on this side. This I've never done this side before. Um, this is all exploring now. I mean, I don't know why this is fenced off. It could be that they sell animals in here or something. Or they have other sorts of animals that they put in here. Looks like a bit of a pen, doesn't it? Does look like a bit of a pen. They had to do a lot of work here during the floods a couple of years ago. They had these massive, great big pumping machines that they um, got from the Netherlands and you know Holland, where they've had a history of flooding in that that country. They had to, the government had to hire them. They're being used um, up in Cumbria and places like that. These big pumps, huge, massive things, and they were all located along the bank over there. Huge machines are uh, gone now. They've been taken to be used elsewhere. I mean, we could they cost millions, but really, we should have our own in this country. We should have our own. So, here we are, the Dumbo, Dumbo Wharf. Um, there, I think some of the passenger cruisers, like the Waverley or something. Um, has been known to come up here as well, to come up the River Parrot. Um, I've got, I've seen a picture of it. Um, it's, it's, I mean, you've got the sound equipment, the echo equipment, haven't you? Sonar, so they can tell where the sandbanks are. But it is full of potential, this river. I was born in Bridgewater. This river runs through my veins, if you like, actually. Um, but we'd have to go back to pre-1066 to locate any ancestors exactly, but, but not necessarily. I could have had um, people in Somerset prior to that, but I haven't located them not since Alfred the Great. Now then, just the one, one or two. Here's our sign again. And here's um, part of the river bank. Good video I'm doing, isn't it? This is all um, timber place up here, which is obviously we're going on to, could be private land now, I don't know. Um, I don't know if this has always been accessible to the public, you see. But this is the walk. This is part of the walk that you can pick up here, or you can pick it up at um, Pollock, or you can walk from Burnham all the way along here. <sighs> Evidence of animals, look, in these holes. Save rabbits, probably. Only it's very small, so probably rabbits. Probably a rabbit war in there. Yeah, the people are working here. Please keep to the marked path and be alert to moving vehicles. So we'll see how far we can get round here. I 
I have. I've actually done this side. I, I stopped in my. I think it was Alberta. I did stop here once and um, take some photos over that way more of the river from this side. I didn't actually get as far as this place. I don't know where you go. I didn't see where the sign went. Looks like you could have walked around that bit there. Look. Looks like you could you could walk that way. Engineering. Lots of little warehouses look here. Even an old railway gauge, look. Steam engines would have come here to live and picking up stuff, cargo from the river. All evidence of the docks here, look, a place to wrap the rope round for ships. There, look. This was a busy, busy dock. Not like a warehouse place like now. Busy, busy dock indeed, this was. Like I said, I don't know where we go from here because you should be able to continue the path along the bank over there. It looks like it sort of peters out here for a minute. But that's the old walkway, look. And, like I say, evidence of ships being moored and tied up all along here. All along here would have been huge ships to turn in the river then to take you into Bridgewater. Yeah. I expect this camera's on me now as I walk here. Ah, I can see a gate now. Like I said, I'm having to do this now. This is a little history tour of Bridgewater's docks, really. Although it's at Dumball. And like I said, it can also always be used again. Always. See, even these things here, these things here are very old. These are still things that you would use to wrap your boat round. They just left like rubbish, right? But they're actually part of the history, these huge things. People just seem to come and dump their rubbish here, don't they? Yeah, you can get out. If you follow that round, you can get out onto the main Dumball roundabout there on the A38 and head back to Western that way. I don't know if they, if they like you parking in here, but like I said, this was a railway line. This was a very, very busy port. It, I think it is still... It still does have stuff delivered. When I lived at Burnham, when I was a young teenager, um, we'd often see the big ships great big ships stuck in the on the sandbanks and they'd have to stay there till the tide came back to move them we're coming up to more features of the dock now once again more wrap around things for big ships Look, more wraparound things. I expect what happens when we get to the other side here, there'll be a gate that takes us along the bank. I mean, I, I had thought of doing that, that was true. I had thought of doing it. So here we've got the river, look. And I've got to walk back that way later. 
reed beds still there. Imagine the big ships there that used to come along here. Just imagine that. Right, I'm going to take some pictures now. I can just see some the old wooden beams on the side there with the big rubber tyre. The, bo the boats would have moored up along here and like I say probably still do. There used to be a Shell Oil Depot over there as well once and they would have had oil tankers come here. I remember that because I did a project for A-level a social biology on pollution in this area and I, I interviewed the manager of uh, Shell Oil. That was years ago in the 70s. Right, over and out for now.